transgressions. Only one visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Save, O Lord, your people, and bless your inheritance, granting victory to the faithful over the enemy, and by your cross protecting your commonwealth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. You who are lifted on the cross voluntarily, O Christ our God, bestow your tender compassions upon your new community to which you gave your name. Cause our faithful emperors to be glad in your power, granting them the victories against their adversaries. And for an ally, Lord, may they have you, peace is their armor, the trophy invincible, both now and ever and into the ages of ages. Amen. O awesome and unshameable protection, O good and praiseworthy Theotokos, do not despise our petitions, make from the community of the Orthodox. Save those whom you have called to rule. Grant them victory from heaven. For you gave birth to God and are truly blessed. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great mercy. We pray you hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for all the pious and orthodox Christians. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for Archbishop Irasimus and all our brotherhood in Christ. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. For you are a merciful God who loves mankind, and to you we ascribe glory to the the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. In the name of the Lord, Father, bless. Glory to the holy, consubstantial, life-giving, and undivided Trinity, always, now, and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill among men. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill among men. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill among men. O Lord, you shall open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. O Lord, you shall open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. O Lord, why do those who afflict me multiply? Many are those who rise up against me. Many are those who say to my soul, There is no salvation for him and his God. But you, O Lord, are my protector, my glory, and the one who lifts up my head. I cried to the Lord with my voice, and he heard me from his holy hill. I lay down and slept. I awoke, for the Lord will help me. I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people who set themselves against me all around. Arise, O Lord, and save me, O my God, for you struck all those who were foolishly at enmity with me. You broke the teeth of sinners. Salvation is of the Lord, and your blessing is upon your people. I lay down and slept, that I awoke, for the Lord will help me. O Lord, do not rebuke me in your wrath, nor chasten me in your anger, for your arrows are fixed in me, and your hand rests on me. There is no healing in my flesh because of your wrath. There is no peace in my bones because of my sins. For my transgressions rise up over my head like a heavy burden, they are heavy on me. My wounds grow foul and fester because of my folly. I suffer misery and I am utterly bowed down. I go all the day long with a sad face. For my loins are filled with mockeries and there is no healing in my flesh. I am afflicted and greatly humbled. I roar because of the groaning of my heart. O oh Lord, all my desire is before you, and my groaning is not hidden from you. My heart is troubled, my strength fails me, and the light of my eyes, even this is not with me. My friends and neighbors draw near and stand against me, and my near of kin stand far off. And those who seek my soul use violence, and those who seek evil for me speak folly, and they meditate on deceit all the day long. But I, like a deaf man, do not hear, and I am like a mute who does not open his mouth. I am like a man who does not hear, and who has no reproofs in his mouth. For in you, O Lord, I hope you will hear, O Lord, my God. For I said, Let not my enemies rejoice over me, for when my foot was shaken, they boasted against me. For I am ready for wounds, and my pain is continually with me. For I will declare my transgression, and I will be anxious about my sin. But my enemies live and are become stronger than I, and those who hate me unjustly are multiplied. Those who repaid me evil for a good slandered me, because I pursue righteousness. Do not forsake me, O Lord, O my God, do not depart from me. Give heed to help me, O Lord of my salvation. Do not forsake me, O Lord, O my God, do not depart from me. Give heed to help me, O Lord, of my salvation. O God, my God, I rise early to be with you. My soul thirsts for you. How often my flesh thirsts for you in a desolate, impassable, and waterless land. So in the holy place I appear before you to see your power and your glory. Because your mercy is better than life, my lips shall praise you. 
Thus I will bless you in my life. I will lift up my hands in your name. May my soul be filled as if with marrow and fatness, and my mouth shall sing praise to you with lips filled with rejoicing. If I remember you on my bed, I meditated on you at daybreak. For you are my helper, and in the shelter of your wings I will greatly rejoice. My soul follows close behind you. Your right hand takes hold of me. But they seek for my soul in vain. They shall go into the lowest parts of the earth. They shall be given over to the edge of the sword. They shall be a portion for foxes. But the king shall be glad in God. All who swear by him shall be praised. For the mouth that speaks unrighteous things is stopped. I meditated on you at daybreak. For you are my helper. And in the shelter of your wings I will greatly rejoice. My soul follows close behind you. Your right hand takes hold of me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Lord, God of my salvation, I cry day and night before you. Let my prayer come before you, incline your ear to my supplication, O Lord. For my soul is filled with sorrows, and my soul draws near to Hades. I am counted among those who go down into the pit. I am like a helpless man, free among the dead, like slain men thrown down and sleeping in a grave, whom you remember no more, but they are removed from your hand. They laid me in the lowest pit, in dark places, and in the shadow of death. Your wrath rested upon me, and you brought all your billows over me. You removed my acquaintances far from me. They made me an abomination among themselves. I was betrayed and did not go forth. My eyes begin from poverty. O Lord, I cry to you the whole day long. I spread out my hands to you. Will you work wonders for the dead? Or will physicians raise them up and acknowledge you? Shall anyone in the grave describe your mercy and your truth and destruction? Shall your wonders be known in darkness and your righteousness in a forgotten land? But I cry to you, O Lord, and in the morning my prayer shall come near to you. Why, O Lord, do you reject my soul and turn away your face from me? I am poor and in troubles for my youth, but having been exalted, I was humbled and brought into despair. Your fierce anger passed over me, and your terrors greatly troubled me. They compassed me like water all the day long. They surrounded me at once. You were moved far from me, neighbor and friend, and my acquaintances because of my misery. O Lord, God of my salvation, I cry day and night before you. Let my prayer come before you, and claim your ear to my supplication, O Lord. Bless, Lord, O my soul, and everything within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget out all his rewards. who is merciful to all your transgressions, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from corruption, who crowns you with mercy and compassion, who satisfies your desire with good things, and your youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord shows mercies and judgment to all who are wronged. He made known his ways to Moses, the things he willed to the sons of Israel. The Lord is compassionate and merciful, so to anger and abounding in mercy. He will not become angry to the end, nor will he be wrathful forever. He did not deal with us according to our sins, nor reward us according to our transgressions. For according to the height of heaven from earth, so the Lord reigns in mercy over those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so he removes the transgressions from us. As a father has compassion on his children, so the Lord has compassion on those who fear him. For he knows how he formed us, he remembers we are dust. As for man, his days are like grass, as a flower of the field, so he flourishes. For the wind passes through it, and it shall not remain, and it shall no longer know its place. But the mercy of the Lord is from age to age upon those who fear him and his righteousness upon children's children, to such as keep his covenant and remember his commandments to do them. The Lord prepared his throne in heaven, and his kingdom rules over all. Bless the Lord, all you his angels, mighty in strength, who do his word so as to hear the voice of his words. Bless the Lord, all you his hosts, his ministers who do his will. Bless the Lord, all his works, in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. In all places of his dominion, bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, hear my prayer, give ear to my supplication in your truth. Answer me in your righteousness. Do not enter into judgment with your servant, for no one living shall become righteous in your sight. For the enemy hath persecuted my soul. He humbled my life to the ground. He caused me to dwell in dark places as one long dead, and my spirit was in anguish within me. My heart was troubled within me. I remembered the days of old, and I meditated on all your works. I meditated on all the works of your hands. I spread out my hands to you. My soul thirsts for you like a waterless land. Hear me speedily, O Lord. My spirit faints within me. Turn not your face from me, lest I become like those who go down into the pit. Cause me to hear your mercy in the morning, for I hope in you. Make me know, O Lord, the way wherein I should walk, for I lift up my soul to you. Deliver me from my enemies, O Lord, for to you I flee for refuge. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. Your good spirit shall guide me in the land of uprightness. For your name's sake, O Lord, give me life. In your righteousness you shall bring my soul out of affliction. In your mercy you shall destroy my enemies. You shall utterly destroy all who afflict my soul, for I am your servant. Answer me in your righteousness, O Lord. Do not enter into judgment with your servant. Answer me in your righteousness, O Lord. Do not enter into judgment with your servant. Your good spirit shall guide me in the land of uprightness. 
Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 <laughs> glory to you, O God. Our hope, O Lord, glory to you. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace from above and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For peace for the whole world, the stability of the holy churches of God, and the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy house and those who enter it with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For all the pious and orthodox Christians, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For Archbishop Yerasimus, the honorable presbyters, the deacons in Christ, and all the clergy and the laity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our country, the president, all civil authorities, and our armed forces, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this parish and city, for every city and country, and the faithful who dwell in them, let us pray. Pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. <coughs> For favorable weather and abundance of the fruits of the earth and peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For travelers by land, sea, and air, the sick, the suffering, the captives, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, pure, most blessed, holy, and glorious Lord, Lady, Lord, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another, and our whole life, to Christ our God. Pray, o Lord. For to you are due all glory, honor, and worship, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever into the ages of ages. Amen. God is the Lord and hath appeared unto us. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. O give thanks unto the Lord and call upon his holy name. All the nations compass me round about, and by the name of the Lord I ward them off. God is the Lord, and hath appeared unto us. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. This is the Lord's doing, and it is marvelous in our eyes. When you descended unto death, O life immortal, then you slayed Hades with the lightning of your divinity. And when you also raised the dead out of the nether world, all the powers of the heavens were crying out, O giver of life, Christ our God, glory be to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, light of orthodoxy, pillar and teacher of the church. Adornment of monastics, invincible champion of their theologians. O Gregory, O thou wonder worker, boast of Thessalonica, herald of grace, ever pray that our souls be saved. Both now and ever into the ages of ages, amen. O thou who for our sakes wast born of a virgin, and did suffer crucifixion, no good one, and did despoil death by death, and as God did trivial the resurrection, 
esteem the nut which thou hast fashioned with thy hand. Show us thy love, for men by no merciful one, except the Theotokos that gave thee birth, who intercedeth for us. And do thou our Savior save a despairing people. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and every Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another, and our whole life to Christ our God. For yours is the dominion, and yours is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. The noble Joseph, taking thine immaculate body down from the tree, and having wrapped it in pure linen and spices, laid it for burial in a new tomb. But on the third day thou didst arise, O Lord, granting great mercy to the world. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, unto the mer-bearing women did the angel cry out, as he stood by the grave. Merles are meet for the dead, but Christ hath proved to be a stranger to corruption. But cry out, the Lord is risen, granting great mercy to the world. Both now and ever into the ages of ages, amen. All thy mysteries are beyond comprehension. All are exceedingly glorious, O Theotokos, sealed with purity and preserved by virginity. Thou wast known to be a true mother, giving birth unto the true God. Do thou entreat him that our souls be saved. Not having hindered the stone of the tomb from being sealed, Thou on thine arising hast granted the rock of faith unto all. O Lord, glory be to Thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The choir of Thy disciples, together with the murdering women, rejoice with one accord. For we celebrate a common feast with them. Unto the glory and honor of thy resurrection. And through the moment befriending Lord, grant great mercy unto thy people. Well, thou never into the ages of ages, amen. Most blessed art thou, O Virgin Theotokos. For through him who was incarnate of thee, Hades was taken captive, Adam was recalled, the curse was annulled, Eve was freed, death was put to death, and we were brought to life. Wherefore with hymns we cry aloud, Blessed art thou, O Christ our God, who hast been thus well pleased, Glory be to Thee. Blessed are You, O Lord, teach me Your statutes. When the hosts of the angels saw how You were accounted among the dead, they all marveled. You, O Savior, are the one who destroyed the might of death. And when you arose, you raised Adam with yourself, and from Hades liberated everyone. Evlogito sikiri adi daxon metadike o metasu, 
Tita mira, sin patos tis la crisin, o mati tria kirnate. O asraptor en tu tapu angelus, prosef te geto tes miro poris. I de te i mistun ta kun ke insite, o sotir gar exanes ti tu mimatur. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. Very early in the morning, the mer-bearing women were hastening to your tomb lamenting. But the angel appeared to them and uttered, The time for lamentation has ended, weep no more. Go announce the resurrection to the apostles. Evlogitos in Kyrie, didaxon metarike o metasu, Miro fori ina kes meta miro nel tuza rostoni masus o tereni kundo angel o tranos rostas tengo meno ti meta ne kronton zon dalogi zeste oste oskar exanes ti tomni mato. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, we bow down in worship to the Father and His Son and the Holy Spirit, the Holy Trinity, one in essence, and we cry aloud with the seraphim, Holy, Holy, Holy are you. Kenin ke oi ke Isus e ona son e on on amin Zodotin te kusa lintros o partene ton adama martias Harmonin e ti eva antilipis pareskes Prevsat a zois in ti ne prostat in de O exus arcotis Deus que antropo. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 doix asio Deus. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. <clears throat> Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, pure, Lord, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever-Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. Lord. For blessed is your name and glorified is your kingdom of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. After the Passion, the women came unto the tomb to anoint thy body, O Christ God. They saw angels in the grave and stood in awe, for they heard their voice proclaiming that the Lord is risen, granting great mercy unto the world. Unto heaven do I lift up the eyes of my heart. Unto thee, O Savior, save me by thine illumination. Have mercy on us who are at fault before thee greatly every hour, O my Christ. And before the end, grant means that we may repent before Thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. For now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. To the Holy Spirit belong you to the governing, the sanctification, and the moving of creation. For He is God, one in essence with the Father and the Word. Had it not been that the Lord was with us, who could have preserved Himself unharmed, 
from him that is both the enemy and manslayer. Surrender not thy servant unto their teeth, O Savior, for like unto a lion, so also do mine enemies move against me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. In the Holy Spirit there is both honor and principle of life. For as God, He does strengthen and sustain all created things in the Father through the Son. They that trust in the Lord are like unto the holy mountain. They are in no wise shaken by the attacks of Belial. Let them that live in a godly manner not stretch forth their hands unto iniquities. For by means of the rod, Christ restraineth his law. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. By the Holy Spirit, of the wisdom pour forth. Then says their grace to the apostles. And thereby in contest are the martyrs from and the prophets see. Arouse thyself, O Lord my God, in the commandment which thou hast enjoined, and a congregation of people shall surround thee. Arouse thyself, O Lord my God, in thy commandment which thou hast enjoined, and a congregation of people shall surround thee. O Lord my God, in thee have I put my hope. Save me from them that persecute me, and do thou deliver me. Arouse thyself, O Lord my God, in the commandment which thou hast enjoined. And a congregation of people shall surround thee. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever-Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. For you are the King of peace and the Savior of our souls, and to you we ascribe glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Arisen art thou, almighty Savior, from the tomb. As Hades beheld, he trembled at the miracle, and the dead arose, and creation, seeing this, doth rejoice with thee. And as Adam also is glad, the world, O oh my Savior, praiseth thee forever. The world, O oh my Savior, praiseth thee forever. Thou art the light of those in darkness. Thou art the resurrection of all and the life of mortals. And thou didst raise all together with thyself, O oh Savior, when thou didst despoil the dominion of death and didst break the gates of Hades, O oh word. And mortals marveled, beholding the wonder, and all creation rejoiceth together because of thy resurrection, O friend of man. Wherefore we too all glorify and praise thy condescension, and the world, O my Savior, praise it thee forever. Praise it thee forever. With one accord we praise thee as the sacred and divine vessel of wisdom and clear trumpeted theology, O our righteous Father Gregory of divine speech. As a mind that standeth now before the primal mind, do thou ever guide aright and lead our mind to him, that we all may cry. Rejoice, O herald of grace divine. Rejoice, O herald of grace divine. Thou didst appear on earth as an angelic messenger of ineffable mysteries, proclaiming to mortals the things of God, for employing the voice of the incorporeal hosts and a man's mind and body, O God, proclaimer Gregory, Thou didst astonish us and persuade us to cry to thee such things as these. Rejoice thou through whom the darkness was driven off. Rejoice thou by whom the light entered in. Rejoice, messenger of the uncreated Godhead. Rejoice, reprover of the one created and truly foolish. 
Rejoice, herald of God's nature as an unscalable height. Rejoice, preacher of his energy as an unfathomable depth. Rejoice, for thou didst rightly declare the glory of God. Rejoice, for thou didst denounce the opinions of the wicked. Rejoice, luminary that has pointed out the sun. Rejoice, wine bowl providing nectar. Rejoice thou through whom the truth brightly shineth. Rejoice thou through whom falsehood is benighted. Rejoice, O herald of grace divine. Rejoice, O herald of grace divine. On March 31st was the contest of the Holy Higher Martyr Hypatius, Bishop of Gangra. On this day we also commemorate our devout father, Akakius the Confessor, Bishop of Melitini. On this day we also commemorate the holy martyrs who witnessed in Persia, Aldous the Bishop, Benjamin the Deacon, and nine other martyrs with them, and many other saints who were imprisoned and were eaten alive by mice and weasels enclosed with them. The holy martyr Menandros reposed after being dragged naked over stones. The holy 38 martyrs who were relatives died by the sword. Our devout father Blaise, who was born in Amorion, reposed in peace. Our devout father Stephen, the wonder worker, reposed in peace. On this day, the second Sunday of the fast, we commemorate our father among the saints, Gregory Palamas, Archbishop, Archbishop of Thessalonica. The spring of light now leadeth to light unwaning, the light's own truly great and resplendent herald. By his intercession, so God have mercy and save us. Amen. I shall open my mouth to chant, and with the Spirit shall I be filled. And words shall I now pour forth unto the Mother and Queen. And I shall be seen in joyous jubilation, acclaiming exultantly all of her wondrous deeds. Make steadfast, O holy Theotokos, thou living in ever-failing spring, all them that for me company and gather forth to praise thy name and by thy grace divine o maid deem them all worthy of glory's crown when the prophet habakkuk o lord most high learned of the divine and untraceable counsel of thy pure incarnation from the womb of the blessed virgin he cried out, Glory to thy power, O Lord my God. All creatures were sore amazed at thy divine and great glory made. O pure virgin, who has not known wedlock. For thou didst hold in thy womb the God of all, and gave his birth to timeless Son. O the friend salvation unto all them that acclaim thy name. On this divine and most honored feast of God's a holy mother, let all of godly mind now celebrate. Come let us faithful now clap our hands and send up glory unto the God whom she hath born. No created thing, but only the Creator was the godly minded youths adore and worship as God. But manfully trampling down threats of fire, they cried out, O oh, supremely praised, and all acclaimed one blessed art thou, O oh, thou Lord God of our fathers. We praise and we bless and we worship the Lord. Three guiltless youths cast in the furnace were saved by the offspring which the Theotokos bore. Then in figure and in type, now in very truth and deed. And he hath gathered all the world which crieth out in chant. He works of his, now sing the Lord's praises, and exalt him greatly for ages and all ages. Let us pray to the Lord. For you are holy, our God, who rest among the saints, and to you we ascribe glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let every breath praise the Lord. Let every breath praise the Lord. 
Let us pray to the Lord our God that we may be deemed worthy to hear the Holy Gospel. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Wisdom arise, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be with all. And with your spirit. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Let us be attentive. Glory to you, O Lord, glory to you. At that time, Jesus revealed himself again to the disciples by the seas of Tiberias, and he revealed himself in this way. Simon Peter, Thomas called the twin, Nathaniel of Cana and Galilee, the sons of Zebedee, and two others of his disciples were together. Simon Peter said to them, I am going fishing. They said to him, We will go with you. They went out and got into the boat, but that night they caught nothing. Just as day was breaking, Jesus stood on the beach, but the disciples did not know that it was Jesus. Jesus said to them, Children, have you any fish? They answered him, No. He said to them, Cast the net on the right side of the boat, and you will find some. So they cast it, and now they were unable to haul it in for the quantity of fish. The disciple whom Jesus loved said to Peter, It is the Lord. When Simon Peter heard that it was the Lord, he put on his clothes, for he was stripped for work, and sprang into the sea. But the other disciples came in the boat, dragging the net full of fish, for they were not far from the land, but about a hundred yards off. When they got out on land, they saw a charcoal fire there, with fish lying on it and bread. Jesus said to them, Bring some of the fish that you have just caught. So Simon Peter went aboard and hauled the net ashore, full of large fish, a hundred and fifty-three of them. And although there were so many, the net was not torn. Jesus said to them, Come and have breakfast. Now none of the disciples dared ask him, Who are you? They knew it was the Lord. Jesus came and took the bread and gave it to them, and so with the fish. This now was the third time that Jesus was revealed to the disciples after he was raised from the dead. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. Having beheld the resurrection of Christ, let us worship the Holy Lord Jesus, the only sinless one. Your cross, O Christ, we venerate, and your holy resurrection we praise and glorify. For you are a God, apart from you we know no other, we call upon your name. Come, all faithful, let us venerate the holy resurrection of Christ. For behold, through the cross, joy has come to the whole world. Ever blessing the Lord, let us praise his resurrection. For having endured the cross for us, he destroyed death by death. Have mercy on me, O God, according to thy great mercy, and according to the multitude of thy compassions, blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from mine iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. For I know mine iniquity, and my sin is ever before me. Against thee only have I sinned, and done this evil before thee, that thou mightest be justified in thy words, and prevail when thou art just. For behold, I was conceived in iniquities, and in sins did my mother bear me. For behold, thou hast loved truth, the hidden and secret things of thy wisdom, as the made manifest unto me. Thou shalt sprinkle me with his up, and I shall be made clean. Thou shalt wash me, and I shall be made whiter than snow. Thou shalt make me to hear joy and gladness, the bones that be humble, they shall rejoice. Turn thy face away from my sins, and blot out all mine iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, 
and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto thee the joy of thy salvation, and with thy governing spirit establish me. I shall teach transgressors thy ways, and the ungodly shall turn back unto thee. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, thou God of my salvation. My tongue shall rejoice in thy righteousness. O Lord, thou shalt open my lips, and my mouth shall declare thy praise. For if thou hast desired sacrifice, I had given it. With all burnt offerings thou shalt not be pleased. A sacrifice unto God is a broken spirit. A heart that is broken and humble, God will not despise. Do good, O Lord, and thy good pleasure unto Zion, and let the walls of Jerusalem be builded. Then shalt thou be pleased with the sacrifice of righteousness, with the oblation and whole burnt offering. Then shall they offer bullocks upon thine altar, and have mercy on me, O God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to the Have mercy on me, O God, 
according to thy great mercy, and according to the multitude of thy compassions, blot out my transgression. When I the hapless one bring to mind the Save your people and bless your inheritance. Look upon your world with mercy and compassion. Raise the Orthodox Christians in glory and send down upon us your rich mercies through the intercessions of our most pure Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, the power of the precious and life giving cross, the protection of the honorable heavenly bodiless powers, the supplications of the honorable glorious prophet and foreigner John the Baptist the holy, glorious, and praiseworthy apostles, our fathers among the saints, the great hierarchs and ecumenical teachers, Basil the Great, Gregor the Theologian, and John Chrysostom, Athanasius, Cyril, and John the Merciful, Patriarchs of Alexandria, Nicholas, Bishop of Mira and Lycia, Spirit and Bishop of Trimithus, the Wonder Workers, the holy, glorious, great martyrs, George the Victorious, Demetrius, the Merce Dreaming, Theodore the Recruit, and Theodore the soldier, Minas the wonder worker, Haralambos and Eleftherios the higher martyrs, the holy glorious and victorious martyrs, the glorious great martyr all honored Ephemia, the holy and glorious martyrs Thecla, Barbara, Anastasia, Kiriaki, Fotini, Marina Paraskevi, and Irene, of our venerable and God-bearing fathers, of Saint Catherine, patroness and protectress of this holy church, O holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, our father among the saints, Gregory Palamas, Archbishop of Thessaloniki, whose memory we celebrate and of all your saints. We beseech you, only most merciful Lord, hear us sinners who pray to you, and have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Gospel be for me, Lord, Gospel be for me, Lord, Gospel be for me, Lord. Yara Boraham, Yara Boraham, Yara Boraham. Through the grace, compassion, and love for mankind of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and forever into the ages of ages. Amen. Let us honor and magnify in song the Theotokos, the Mother of the Light. My soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Savior. More honorable than the cherubim, and beyond compare more glorious than the seraphim. He who with all corruption gave us birth to God the Word, the very Theotokos, thee do we magnify. 
for he hath looked upon the lowliness of his handmaiden. For behold, from henceforth all generations shall call me blessed. Sing, sing me on that, on ton kerovim, ken bok son ter anasi kritos son serafim. Sing a via floros, te on logon te kusan, sin on dos te otoi kon se megalin omen. For the mighty one hath done great things to me, and holy is his name, and his mercy is on them that, is on them that fear him. Unto generation and generation, more honorable than the cherubim, and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim. He who without corruption gave his birth to God the Word, the very Theotokos, thee do we magnify. He hath sowed strength with his arm, he hath scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. Sing to me on ter anton kerovim, ken vok son ter anasi kritos ton serafim. Sing a dia floros te on logon te kusan, in ondos te otokon se megalin omen. He hath put down the mighty from their seat and exalted them of low degree. He hath filled the hungry with good things and the rich he hath sent empty away. More honorable than the cherubim and beyond compare more glorious than the seraphim. He who without corruption gave his birth to God the Word, the very Theotokos, thee do we magnify. He hath helped his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy, as he spoke to our fathers, to Abraham and his seed forever. Let every earthborn man leap up in the spirit and now hold his torch on high. And let all the bodyless know and it comes now celebrate joyously. The Theotokos says the blind and sacred festival. As they cry out, rejoice, O thou, a blessed one, ever virgin and pure mother of our God. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, pure, most holy, blessed, and glorious Lord, Lady, the Theotokos and Deborah Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. <coughs> the powers of heaven praise you and to you they ascribe glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Holy is the Lord our God. Agios Kyrios Oethosimos. Exalt the Lord our God and worship footstool of his feet, for he is holy. On the sea of Tiberias, of old there went a fishing, Nathaniel, Peter, and with them another two with Thomas, as well as a baby's children. And then as Christ commanded, upon the right they cast their net, and drew out many fishes, and knowing him, Peter.
Peter swiftly swam, swam to him, and he showed them both bread and fish upon the coals. In this is third appearing. Rejoice, boast of the Father's choir, thou mouth of theologians, a boat of stillness wrapped in God. Rejoice, O house of wisdom, thou highest summit of teachers, sea of the word unfathomed, instrument of activity, height of true true height of true divine vision, thou who dost heal. Men's uncured diseases rejoice, O Father, Thou who art born in life and death, the Spirit sanctuary. O Sovereign Lady, Queen of all, anticipate our perils, anticipate our every woe. Be with us when we need thee, upon that awesome and last day. Blessed Hades or perdition, for Satan take us in that hour. But may we all stand guiltless before thy Son. At his dread tribunal, O pure, o pure virgin, for all thou willest thou canst do. As God's all holy mother. Let every breath praise the Lord. Praise the Lord from the heavens. of heavens and the water that art above the heavens. Let them praise the name of the Lord. For he spake and they came to be, he commanded and they were created. He established them forever, yea, forever and ever. He hath set in ordinance, and it shall not pass away. From the earth, ye dragons, and all ye abysses. Fire, hail, snow, ice, blast of tempest, which perform his word. The mountains and all the hills, fruitful trees and all cedars. The beasts and all the cattle, creeping things and winged birds. Kings of the earth and all peoples, princes and all judges of the earth, young men and virgins, elders with the younger, let them praise the name of the Lord, for exalted is the name of Him alone. His praise is above the earth and heaven, and He shall exalt the horn of 
his people. This is the hymn for all his saints, for the sons of Israel, and for the people that draw nigh unto him. Sing unto the Lord a new song, his praises in the church of the saints. Let Israel be glad in him that made him. Let the sons of Zion rejoice in their king. Let them praise his name in the dance with the timbrel and psaltery. Let them chant unto him. For the Lord taketh pleasure in his people, and he shall exalt the meek with salvation. Lucy shall boast in glory and they shall rejoice upon their bed. The high praise of God shall be in their throne, and to exhort shall be in their hands. To do vengeance among the heathen, punishments among the people, to bind their kings with fetters, and their nobles with manacles of iron. To do among them the judgment that is written his glory shall be to all his saints. Every breath and all creation glorify in thee, O Lord. For by the cross didst thou abolish that, that thou mightest show forth unto the Praise ye God and his saints, praise him in the firmament of his power. Let the Jews make answer, how did the soldiers lose the king whom they were guarding? Why was it that the stone did not retain the rock? of life. Let them either give him up that was buried, or worship him that is risen, saying with us, Glory to the multitude of thy compassions. O our Savior, glory be to Thee. Praise Him for His mighty acts. Praise Him according to the multitude of His greatness. Rejoice, O ye peoples, and be glad. An angel sat upon the stone of the tomb. He himself proclaimed the glad tidings unto us, saying, Christ is risen from the dead, the Savior of the he hath filled all things with fragrance. Rejoice, O ye peoples, and be glad. Praise him with the sound of trumpet. Praise him with the psaltery and harp. Before thy conception, O Lord, an angel brought the greeting, rejoice to her that is full of grace, and I thy Stone of thy 
thy glory as to the one instead of sorrow announce the tokens of gladness the Giving Master unto us, wherefore we cry unto thee, O Benefactor of all, Lord, glory be to Rejoices gladly with the blessed assemblies, being meek thou dwellest in the land of the meek, O divine hierarch Gregory, made rich by God with the grace to work miracles, which thou grantest to those honoring thee. Praise him with tuneful symbols, praise to the symbols of jubilation. Let every breath praise the Lord. Having completed thy flesh, life let here in this world. Thou now rejoicest gladly with the blessed assemblies. Being meek, thou dwellest in the land of the meek. O divine hierarch Gregory, made rich by God with the grace to work miracles, which thou grantest to those honoring thee. The mouth of the righteous shall meditate wisdom, and his tongue shall speak of judgment, planting the doctrines of orthodoxy, O blessed man. Thou didst cut down the brambles of heretical doctrines, increasing well the seed of the orthodox faith with thy showers of saving words. As a good husbandman offering unto God, sheaves of wheat brought forth a hundredfold. Thy priests, O Lord, shall be clothed with righteousness, and thy righteous shall rejoice. All the assemblies of angels and men were sore amazed at the far shining splendor of the life of blessed Father, who was an ascetic and also did prove a staunch athlete in will and choice, a worthy hierarch and minister of the Lord, and a true and guileless friend of God.
both now and ever, into the ages of ages. Amen. Most blessed art thou, O Virgin Theotokos, for through him who was incarnate of thee, Hades was taken captive, Adam was recalled, the curse was annulled, Eve was freed, death was put to death, and we were brought to life. Wherefore with hymns we cry aloud, Blessed art thou, O Christ our God, who hast been thus well pleased. Glory be to thee. Glory be to you, who showed the light. Glory in the highest to God and on earth peace, good will among men. We praise you, we bless you, we worship you, we glorify you, we give thanks to you for your great glory. O Lord, King, Heavenly God, the Father Almighty, O Lord, the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit, O Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, who take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us, you who take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer, you who sit at the right hand of the Father, and have mercy on us. For you alone are holy, you alone are Lord, Jesus Christ, to the glory of God the Father. Amen. Every day will I bless you, and I will praise your name forever, and unto the ages of ages. Vouchsafe, O Lord, to keep us this day without sin. Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of our fathers, and praised and glorified is your name unto the ages. Amen. Let your mercy, O Lord, be upon us, even as we have hoped in you. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. Lord, you have been our refuge from generation to generation. I said, O Lord, have mercy on me. Heal my soul, for I have sinned against you. O Lord, to you have I fled for refuge. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. For in you is the fountain of life. In your light we shall see light. Continue your mercy unto those who know you. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Holy Immortal, have mercy on us. Holy Salvation come unto the world, 
Let us sing unto the author of our life, who arose from the tomb. For destroying death by death, he granted us the victory and great mercy. Blessed is the kingdom of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. In peace let us pray to the Lord. For the peace from above and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. For peace in the whole world, for the stability of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy house, and for those who enter it with faith, fear, and love of God, let us pray to the Lord. Archbishop, Yerasim, all honorable presbyters, the deacons in the service of Christ, and all the clergy and the laity, let us pray to the Lord. For our country, the president, and all those in civil authorities, let us pray to the Lord. For this parish and city, for every city and town, and for the faithful who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For favorable weather and abundance of the fruits of the earth and peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For travelers by land, sea, and air, for the sick, the suffering, the captives, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever-Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another, and our whole life to Christ our God. For you, O Lord. For to you are due all glory, honor, and worship, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, God, is power, be unkempered, be bless the Lord, O oh my soul, blessed are you, O Lord. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all that he has done for you. Who is gracious unto all your iniquities, who heals all your infirmities, who redeems your life from corruption, who crowns you with mercy and compassion, who fulfills your desire with good things, your youth shall be renewed as the the Lord performs seeds of mercy and executes judgment for all them that are wrong. He has made his ways known unto Moses, unto the sons of Israel, the things that he has willed. Compassionate and merciful is the Lord, long suffering and plenteous in mercy. Not unto the end will he be angered, neither unto eternity will he be wrong. Not according to our iniquities, as he dealt with us, 
us, neither according to our sins has he rewarded us. For according to the height of heaven from the earth, so the Lord has made his mercy to prevail over them that fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our iniquities from us. Like a father has compassion upon his sons, so has the Lord had compassion upon them that fear him. For he knows whereof we are made, he has remembered that we are done. As for man, his days are as the grass. As a flower of the field, so shall he blossom forth. For in the Lord, for when the wind is passed over it, then it shall be gone, and no longer will it know the place thereof. But the mercy of the Lord is from eternity, even unto eternity upon them that fear him. And his righteousness is upon sons of sons, upon them that keep his testament, and remember his commandments to do that. And his kingdom rules over all. Bless the Lord, all you his angels, mighty and strange, that perform his word to hear the voice of his word. Bless the Lord, all you his hosts, his ministers that do his will. Bless the Lord, all you his works, in every place of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Get in the need to get you the thorn. And the love so son a lay son, get the appeal of sonima so theos, this is charity. This panagia sacrando a pair of logging men is in docks and the spinisimo theoto, who be a parthenum Marias, metapon, don't don't a game name an epson de se up to skia lilus. Que passan din zo inimon Cristo to theo para thometha. Si kiria. O ti son do kratos que su estini vasilia que i dinamis que i doxa. Tu patros que tu iu que tu agio pnevmatos. Nin que a i que istu se ornas to neonon. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord, O my soul. I will praise the Lord in my life. I will chant unto my God for as long as I have my being. Do not place your trust in princes in the sons of men, in whom there is no salvation. The Spirit shall go forth, and he shall return unto his earth. In that day all his thoughts shall perish. Blessed is he of whom the God of Jacob is his help, whose hope is in the Lord his God. He has made heaven and the earth, the sea, and all that is therein. Who keeps truth unto eternity, who executes judgment for the wrong, who gives food unto the hungry. The Lord who 
house is the better, the Lord makes wise the blind. The Lord sets the right the fallen, the Lord loves the righteous, the Lord preserves the proselytes. He shall adopt for his own the orphan and widow, and the way of sinners shall he destroy. The Lord shall be king unto eternity, your God, O Zion, unto generation and generation. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Only begotten Son and Word of God, you who are immortal, and did condescend for our salvation to become incarnate of the holy Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, without change becoming man, who were crucified, O Christ our God, by death trampling down upon death. You are one of the Holy Trinity, glorified with the Father and with the Holy Spirit. Save us. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another, and our whole life to Christ our God. For you, o Lord. For you are a good and loving God, and to you we ascribe glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. In your kingdom remember us, O Lord, when you come in your kingdom. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. We present you the robber's words, and we prayerfully echo them. And like him we cry out, O Savior, in your kingdom remember us. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. We present you the cross, O Lord, that you suffered on our behalf to forgive our sins and offenses, O benevolent Savior Christ. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. Lord, we honor your burial and your rising by which you freed the world from corruption, O God, in your in your benevolence. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. We salute you and say rejoice, fiery throne and unwedded bride. Rejoice, Holy Virgin, for you gave birth to God for humanity. Blessed are you when men revile you and persecute you, and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely for my sake. The tongue and impious 
this insolence of with witless Barlam have been shattered by the dogmas and the words and the acute understanding of the emperor with wisdom and you, O Gregory. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven. Let us with hymns honor the divine harp of the Holy Spirit, the trumpet that distinctly has proclaimed the sacred mysteries of the Lord. Thessalonica's prelude, the tongue that spoke of God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O fiery pillar like that of old, which went before the people, you burned up the enemies of the faith, while you enlightened the body of Believers, Father Gregory, godly minded one. Both now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. O all your lady become for me. Serenity, a harbor of consolation, bearing me across to a divine wave, this anchorage. And thus appease my passions, violently searching storm. Sophia Orsi, come let us worship and bow down before Christ, save us, O Son of God, who are risen from the dead. We sing to you, Alleluia. When you descended unto death, O life immortal, then you slayed Hades with the lightning of your divinity. And when you also raised the dead out of the netherworld, all the powers of the heavens were crying out, O giver of life, Christ our God, glory be to you. Light of orthodoxy, pillar and teacher of the church, adornment of monastics, invincible champion of theologians. O Gregory, thou wonder worker, boast of Thessalonica, herald of grace, Ever pray that our souls be saved. In Panathimoni, in Christu, in Nisoman, Ekaterina, in Fion, Kepoliu, Ponsino, in Boithion, in Keon, in O dear Timos, Salambros, tus consus dona se vontu pnev, matos di maquera, que minus martis tirius de tisa, et ite pasito mega eleos. Let us sing the praise of the bride of Christ renowned, the patroness of Sinai, Catherine divine, our assistance and protection, for she has brilliantly subdued the impious refined by the power of the Spirit. She was crowned as a martyr of the Lord, and for all she entreats the great mercy. Si per ma con stratigo ta nikitiria, o 
ਉਸਲੀ ਤਰੋਤੀ ਸਤੋ ਦਿਨੋ ਨੈ ਪਾਰੀ ਸਤੀਰੀਆਂ ਅਨਗ੍ਰਪੋਸੀ ਈ ਪੋਲੀ ਸੁਤੇ ਤੋਕ ਆਲੋਸੇ ਕੂ ਸਤੋ ਕ੍ਰਾਤੋ ਜਪਰੋਸ ਮਾਕੀ ਤੋਂ ਐਕ ਪੰਦੀਓਨ ਮੈ ਕਿੰ ਦਿਨੋ ਨੇ ਲੈਫਤੇਰੋਸੋਨ ਇਨ ਅਕਰਾਜੋਸੀਪ ਖੇਰਨੀਮ ਫੀਆਨੀਮ ਫੈਫਤੇਮ tokens of my gratitude being rescued from the terrors of the autos in as my tries you have power i know pray to the lord for you are holy our god and to you we ascribe glory to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit now and forever and to the ages of ages
Let us be attentive. The Lord is my strength and my song, and he became my salvation. The Lord chastened and corrected me, but he did not give me up to death. Wisdom. The reading is from St. Paul's letter to the Hebrews. Let us be attentive. In the beginning, Lord, you founded the earth, and the heavens are the works of your hands. They will perish, but you remain. They will all wear out like clothing. Like a cloak you will roll them up, and like clothing they will be changed. But you are the same, and, and your years will never end. But to what angel has he ever said, Sit at my right hand, until I make your enemies a footstool for your feet? Are they not all ministering spirits sent forth to serve for the sake of those who are to obtain salvation? Therefore, we must pay closer attention to what we have heard, lest we drift away from it. For if the message declared by angels was valid in every transgression or disobedience, received a just retribution. How shall we escape if we neglect such a great salvation? It was declared at first by the Lord. And it was attested to us by those who heard him. Peace be with you, the reader. Savior King, may the Lord hear you in the day of afflictions. May the name of the God of Jacob defend you. Alleluia. Alleluia. Let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be with you all. And with your spirit. <laughs> the reading is from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Let us be attentive. Glory to you, Lord. Glory to you. At that time Jesus entered Capernaum, and it was reported that he was at home. And many were gathered together, so that there was no longer room for them, not even about the door. And he was preaching the word to them, and they came bringing to him a paralytic carried by four men. And when they could not get near him because of the crowd, they removed the roof above him. And when they had made an opening, they let down the pallet on which the paralytic lay. And when Jesus saw their faith, he said to the paralytic, My son, your sins are forgiven. Now some of the scribes were sitting there questioning in their hearts, Why does this man speak thus? It is blasphemy. Who can forgive sins but God alone? And immediately Jesus, perceiving in his spirit that they thus questioned within themselves, said to them, Why do you question thus in your hearts? 
which is easier to say to the paralytic, your sins are forgiven, or to say, raise, take up your pallet and walk, but that you may know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins. He said to the paralytic, I say to you, rise, take up your pallet and go home. And he rose and immediately took up the pallet and went out before them all, so that they were all amazed and glorified God, saying, We never saw anything like this. Glory to you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning. Four men carried a paralyzed man to see Jesus, and when they got to the house, the crowd was so large that they weren't able to go inside. And so they took it upon themselves to hoist this man up to the roof and once they got up there to start tearing away part of the roof large enough so that they could lower this paralytic down and place him at the feet of our Lord. And Jesus, as it said, seeing their faith and the paralyzed man who was now lying in front of him, said to him, your sins are forgiven. And I remember reading that one time and I thought, I wonder what he thought at that moment. Thank you, but that's not why I'm here. As you can see, I'm paralyzed. But our Lord never says anything without intention and purpose. So laying in front of him, he says, Son, your sins are forgiven. And then we read some of the scribes who were sitting there, they were watching and they were listening to all of this, and questioned in their hearts, why does this man speak like this? This is blasphemy. Who can forgive sins? Only God can forgive sins. Immediately, it says, Jesus, perceiving in his spirit that they had this question within themselves, said to them, why do you have this question in your heart? They didn't say anything out loud. They didn't vocalize this. They just thought it. They just question it within their heart. St. John Chrysostom says that God not only has the power to forgive sins and to heal physical illness, he also has the power to disclose the secrets that are in each man's heart. Imagine the scribes sitting there who were just having a thought, who is this man and why does he speak like this? And then Jesus looks up at them and says, why are you having that thought? Why do you have that question in your heart and it's not recorded in scripture but I often wondered what it was what was going through their minds at that moment they had the thought he looked up and said why do you have the thought when Jesus revealed what they were thinking maybe they thought oh my gosh he's reading our minds so Jesus says to them which is easier to say to say your sins are forgiven or to pick up your pallet and walk in other words, to heal a person. Answer, it's much easier to say your sins are forgiven because they're just words, and how do you prove that they're forgiven? So our Lord continues saying to them, so that you may know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins. Now this is interesting because he calls himself the Son of Man. So what did this mean to the Jewish leaders, the Pharisees and the scribes? 
What did Son of Man mean to them? It's not the opposite of Son of God, nor is it a reference to the humanity of Christ. So what does it refer to? Well, you have to look at the book of the prophet Daniel. And in chapter 7, Daniel says, In my vision at night I looked, and there before me was one like a Son of Man coming with the clouds of heaven. Just a side note, the Jews associated clouds with divine revelation, with appearances and with theophanies. In my vision at night I looked, and there before me was one like a son of man coming with the clouds of heaven. He approached the Ancient of Days, God the Father, and was led into his presence. He was given authority, glory, and sovereign power. All nations and peoples of every language worshipped him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion that will not pass away, and his kingdom is one that will never be destroyed. That's Daniel chapter 7, verse 13 and 14. So for the Jewish leaders, the title Son of Man refers to the one who sits at the right hand of the Father and has equal power and is co-ruler. In other words, he would be the Messiah. So Jesus identifies himself as the Messiah, and he continues, But you may know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins. He said to the paralytic, Rise, take up your mat, and go home. And the paralytic stood up. He took his mat, and he walked out of the house, and all the people that were there present were amazed at what they just saw, including the scribes and the Pharisees. And they cried out, glorifying God, we have never in our life seen anything like this before. So here's what I want to leave you with. How nice it would be if God would just perform a few miracles in our life, right? Especially when we need them the most. The problem is that the miracles we want typically are about physical health or finances or relationships, all of which are going to expire at some point. And for sure, we're going to expire at some point. Here's the miracle that our Lord wants to perform in our life and that is the conversion of our heart. Because that miracle has no expiration date. Our Lord who saw into the hearts of the scribes also sees into your hearts and my heart. Nothing is hidden from him. No matter what we hide from others, nothing is hidden from him. And herein lies the immeasurable mercy and love of our Lord that no matter what the current condition of our heart is, of what your heart is, even if it's tainted and fully defiled, he still wants to come and take up residency in your heart. Give me your heart, we read in Proverbs. He said, let your eyes observe my ways because this is how you're going to truly have life. Give me your heart. Let me come in. Let me reside in your heart and I will give you life in abundance, life like you have never known it, that we may say, I have never seen or known life to be like this, just like the people cried out and said, we've never seen anything like that miracle before. No matter what condition your heart is in, our Lord longs for it. He longs to enter it, to heal it, to enlarge it, to fill him with himself. But he will never take it by force, people. Christ will never come into our heart without our consent. And this will take effort on our part if we want this. And the reason is, is because our heart is already divided. It's attached to a lot of transitory things in this world. And detaching our heart from these transitory things can be very difficult because we have come to love many of them. In a distorted way, they've come to define us, give us a sense of worth, a sense of value. They make us feel important, and they give us this false sense of security. How excited we become when Amazon shows up our front door with our package. It's like Christmas. In July, in October, 
In fact, we may be subconsciously ordering a lot of things just to open that door and go, ah, it's here. We love getting things, new shoes, a new watch, new dress, new this, new that. We love this. This, is, this fulfills us. But does it? You know what it does? I'll, I'll give you an analogy. We're thirsting so much. Our soul is thirsting so much. And we are drinking salt water. Not only does salt water not quench our thirst, it makes us thirstier. So we got to have more. We just can't get happy enough. Because there's only one thing that can give us what we truly want, and that's Christ. Just as it required effort from those four men who had to lift that man's body up on the roof, effort to tear away part of the roof, effort to lower him down in there, so that he could be in the presence of God, by the way, so it will require effort on our part to open the way for God's presence in our life and for our own healing. Father Zacharias says, when we fall into sin, our mind moves in an outward direction and we lose ourselves in created things. But when we become conscious of our sinfulness, when we come to ourselves and we then begin our return home, that's when we start turning inward and we start searching for a way back to our heart. That's what we want. When all our being is gathered by uniting our mind, our thoughts, what we're thinking of, where we are, when that begins to be united with our heart, we turn our whole being, our whole life over to God, and we find Christ in that place where He is to be found, which is in the depths of our own hearts. And then the pursuits of things out here to give us a sense of worth, purpose, meaning, whatever, just disappears. Because we see it, all those things for what it is, what they are. Nothing. The key to unlock the door of our return to our Father's house, to our heart, is coming to an awareness of our true spiritual condition, our true spiritual poverty. And if we never arrive at this awareness, which is comparable to the person who doesn't think that they're ill and therefore they don't have any need for a physician, we will never find our heart, the meeting place of our Lord. And just another side note in regards to that, from St. Saint, from Saint John's first universal letter, epistle, he writes, if we say that we have no sin, we're good. He says we're deceiving ourselves and the truth is not in us. When we speak in truth of our true condition, as much as we can know it, because God won't reveal to the depth of that in us because it would completely destroy us. When we speak in truth about our true condition of where we are in our life, apart from Christ, the spirit of truth comes to us. Now we live and walk and think in that truth. Though he thought he was living the life of his dreams, the life he always wanted to live, the life that he could not wait to get out and live, the prodigal son, he came to the realization that he was just, he had wasted all of his life. It was a lie. He wasted everything all the money, all of his dignity, time, resources, everything. But that is the life that he dreamed of and envisioned. And we can fall into that same trap and not even know it. For us, it's only when we come to this same realization, the same realization that the prodigal son came to, that our Lord can begin his work of refashioning our heart. And the work he does is perfect. And I'll just leave you this one thought because this is a... Um, a spiritual exercise, if you will. <clears throat> I was reading um, the book, The Church at Prayer, which I've read many times through, um, written by Elder Emilianos of Simonopetra Monastery, Mount Athos of Blessed Memory. And he was addressing a, a group of people, and he was talking about the heart, and he was talking about the importance of our, giving our heart entirely to God. 
and he said the following, which is, and I've shared this with some of you already, it is probably the most, it's probably the simplest piece of advice and easiest thing to do if we remember to do it and commit to doing it. And he said, my brothers, simply say every day, many times a day, for the next two or three weeks, Lord, come into my heart. That's it. And if we say it from a place of desire, Lord, come into my heart. I want you to take up your residency in my heart. I want you to purify my heart. I want to give you my whole heart. I want to live my whole life for you. Please, please, please do this for me. He, the elder Emiliano says, it will happen. But we have to be unfailing in it. We have to be unfailing in it. So I leave you with that spiritual counsel from that holy elder. And my heart and my prayer desires that you come to know Christ in this way. To our Lord be the glory forever. Amen. And grant that always, guarded by your power, we may give glory to you, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. No one bound by worldly desires and pleasures is worthy to approach, draw near, or minister to you, the King of glory. To serve you is great and awesome, even for the heavenly powers. But because of your ineffable and immeasurable love for us, you became man without alteration or change. You have served as our High Priest and as Lord of all, and have entrusted to us the celebration of this liturgical sacrifice without the shedding of blood. For you alone, Lord our God, rule over all things in heaven and on earth. You are seated on the throne of the cherubim, the Lord of the seraphim, and the King of Israel. You alone are holy and dwell among your saints. You alone are good and ready to listen. Therefore I implore you, look upon me, your sinful and most unworthy servant, and cleanse my soul and heart from an evil conscience. Enable me by the power of your Holy Spirit, so that vested with the grace of priesthood, I may stand before your holy table and celebrate the mystery of your holy and pure body and your precious blood. To you I come with bowed head and pray. Do not turn your face away from me or reject me from among your children. But make me your sinful and most unworthy servant worthy to offer you these gifts. For you, Christ, are brought the offerer and the offered. The one who receives and is distributed into you we give glory. Together with your eternal Father and your all holy but a life giving spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. We mystically represent the cherubims in the thrice holy hymn to the life giving Trinity. Let us set aside all the cares of this life. We may receive the King of all, who comes in this way escorted by the angelicals. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We mystically represent the cherubims in the thrice holy hymn to the life giving Trinity. Let us set aside all the cares of this life, that we may receive the King of all, who comes in this way escorted by the angelicals. Represent the cherubim, sing the Christ holy hymn to the life of the Trinity. Let us set aside all the cares of this life, so that we may receive the King of all who comes in this way, as by the angelic Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Having beheld the resurrection of Christ, let us worship the Holy Lord Jesus, the only sinless one. We venerate your cross, O Christ, we praise and glorify your holy resurrection. You are our God, and we know no other than you who call upon your name. Come on, faithful, let us venerate the holy resurrection of Christ. For behold, through the cross, joys come to all the world. Blessing the Lord always, let us praise his resurrection. For in doing the cross, he has destroyed death by death. Have mercy on me, O God, according to thy great mercy, and according to the multitude of thy compassion, God, of thy transgression. Lost me thoroughly from my iniquity. Against the only have I sinned and done that which is evil in thy sight, that thou mightest be justified in thy words and prevail when thou art judged. For behold, I was conceived in the iniquities and the sins that my mother bear me. For behold, thou hast loved truth, the hidden and secret things of thy wisdom, as thou made manifest unto me. Thou shalt 
shall sprinkle me with hyssop, and I shall be made clean. Thou shalt wash me, and I shall be made whiter than snow. Thou shalt make me to hear joy and gladness. The bones shall be humble, they shall rejoice. Turn thy face away from my sins, O Lord, and blot up all my iniquities. Create me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of thy salvation, and with thy governing spirit establish me. And I shall teach transgressors thy ways, and the ungodly shall be back unto thee. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, O God, of my salvation, and my tongue shall rejoice in thy righteousness. O Lord, thou shalt open my lips, and my mouth shall show forth thy praise. What thou wilt is our sacrifice, I give it in. With over talking shall shall not be pleased. The sacrifice of a God is a broken spirit. A heart that is broken and contrite, O God, will not despise. Unto me, the sin and mercy of one thing. O Theos, I must speak him at the heart of the Lord. O God, be gracious unto me, the sin and mercy of one thing. the Lord a God to be Christians in his kingdom now and forever and to the ages of ages Amen que pandon epsevon que ortodoxon christianon mnisti kyrios o theos and if I see Liab to Pondo Tenin Kei, Kais to say on us, to Neono. Tisirusini sumisikirio sotheos and if I see Liab to Pondo Tenin Kei, Kais to say on us, to Neono. I mean, the noble Joseph had been taken down with fear of the battle of the body, rapid and pure linen and spices and spirals. For good, O Lord, make the pleasure of the sign, and let the walls of Jerusalem be built. Then shalt thou be pleased with the sacrifice of righteousness, with oblation and hope and offerings, and the shock of bullocks upon thine altar. Let us complete our prayer to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. 
receive. For the precious gifts here presented, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy house, and for those who enter it with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and distress, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. For a perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless day, let us ask the Lord. this For an angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask the Lord. Grant this, o Lord. For forgiveness and remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask the Lord. Grant this, o Lord. For all that is good and beneficial to our souls, and for peace in the world, let us ask the Lord. Grant this, o Lord. For the completion of our lives in peace and repentance, let us ask the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. For a Christian into our lives, peace but without shame and suffering, and for a good account before the awesome judgment seat of Christ, let us ask the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another, and our whole life to Christ our God. Lord our God, you created us and brought us into this life. You have shown us the way to salvation and have bestowed upon us the revelation of heavenly mysteries. You have appointed us to this service by the power of your Holy Spirit. Grant, therefore, O Lord, that we may be accepted as servants of your new covenant and ministers of your holy mysteries. Accept us as we draw near to your holy altar, according to the multitude of your mercy, that we may be worthy to offer you this spiritual sacrifice without the shedding of blood for our sins and for the transgressions of your people. Grant that having accepted the sacrifice upon your holy, heavenly, and spiritual altar as an offering of spiritual fragrance, you may in return send down upon us the grace of your Holy Spirit. Look upon us, O God, and consider our worship, and accept it as you accepted the gifts of Abel, the sacrifices of Noah, the burnt offerings of Abraham, the priestly offices of Moses and Aaron, and the peace offerings of Samuel. As you accepted this true worship from your holy apostles, accept also in your goodness, O Lord, these gifts from the hands of us sinners, that being deemed worthy to serve at your holy altar without blame, we may obtain the reward of the faithful stewards on the fearful day of your just judgment. Through the mercies of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be with all. And with your Spirit. Let us love one another, that with one mind we may confess. I love you, Lord, my strength, the Lord, my love, my fortress, my deliverer. the doors to wisdom let us be attentive i believe in one god the father almighty creator of heaven and earth and of all things visible and invisible and in one lord jesus christ the only begotten son of god begotten of the father before all ages light of light true god of true god 
begotten, not created, of one essence with the Father, through whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man. He was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate, and suffered and was buried, and he rose on the third day according to the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come again with glory to judge the living and the dead. His kingdom shall have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the Creator of life, who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who spoke through the prophets, in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. Let us stand well, let us stand in awe, let us be attentive, that we may present the holy offering in peace. Have mercy of peace, a sacrifice of praise. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us lift up our hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord. It is proper and right. Master, Lord our God, worship of Father Almighty, it is truly just and right to the majesty of your holiness to praise you, to hymn you, to bless you, to worship you, to give thanks to you, the only true God, and to offer to you this our spiritual worship with a contrite heart and a humble spirit. For you have given us to know your truth, who is worthy to praise your mighty acts, or to make known all your praises, or to tell of all your wonderful deeds at all times. Master of all things, Lord of heaven and on earth, and of every creature visible and invisible, you are seated on the throne of glory, and behold the depths. You are without beginning, invisible, incomprehensible, beyond words, unchangeable. You are the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who is the great God and Savior of our hope, the image of your goodness, the true seal of revealing in himself you, the Father. He is the living word, the true God, eternal wisdom, life, sanctification, power, and the true light. Through him the Holy Spirit was manifested, the spirit of truth, the gift of sonship, the pledge of our future inheritance, the first fruits of eternal blessings, the life-giving power, the source of sanctification through whom every rational and spiritual creature is made capable of worshiping you and giving you eternal glorification, for all things are subject to you. For you are praised by the angels, archangels, thrones, dominions, principalities, authorities, powers, and the many-eyed cherubim. Round about you stand the seraphim, one with six wings, the other with six wings. With two they cover their faces, with two they cover their feet, with two they fly, crying out to one another with unceasing voices and ever-resounding praises. Singing the victory hymn, proclaiming, crying out, and saying, Holy, Holy. Together with these blessed powers, loving Master, we sinners also cry out and say, Truly, you are holy and most holy, and there are no bounds to the majesty of your holiness. You are holy in all your works, for with righteousness and true judgment, you have ordered all things for us, for having made man by taking dust from the earth and having honored him with your own image, O oh God. You placed him in a garden of delight, promising him eternal life and the enjoyment of everlasting blessings in the observance of your commandments. But when he disobeyed you, the true God who created him, and was led astray by the deception of the serpent, becoming subject to death through his own transgressions, you, O oh God, in your righteous judgment, expelled him from paradise into this world returning into the earth from which he was taken, yet providing for him the salvation of regeneration in your Christ. For you did not forever reject your creature whom you made, O good one, nor did you forget the work of your hands, but because of your tender compassion, you visited him in various ways. You sent forth prophets, you performed mighty works by your saints, who in every generation have pleased you. You spoke to us by the mouth of your servants, the prophets, announcing to us the salvation which was to come. You gave us the law to help us. You appointed angels as guardians. And when the fullness of time had come, you spoke to us through your Son himself, through whom you 
created the ages, he being the splendor of your glory and the image of your being, upholding all things by the word of his power, thought it not robbery to be equal with you, God and Father, but being God before the ages, he appeared on earth and lived with mankind. Becoming incarnate from a holy virgin, he emptied himself, taking the form of a servant, conforming to the body of our lowliness, that he might change us in the likeness of the image of his glory. For since through man sin came into the world, and through sin death, it pleased your only begotten Son, who is in your bosom, God and Father, born of a woman, the holy Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, born under the law, to condemn sin in his flesh, so that those who died in Adam may be brought to life in him, your Christ. He lived in this world and gave us precepts of salvation. Releasing us from the delusions of idolatry, he guided us to the sure knowledge of you, the true God and Father. He acquired us for himself, as his chosen people, a royal priest to the holy nation. Having cleansed us by water and sanctified us with the Holy Spirit, he gave himself as ransom to death in which we were held captive, sold under sin. Descending into Hades through the cross, that he might fill all things with himself, he loosened the bonds of death. He rose on the third day, having opened the path for all flesh to the resurrection from the dead, since it was not possible that the author of life would be dominated by corruption. So he became the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep, the firstborn of the dead, that he might be himself the first in all things. Ascending into heaven, he sat at the right hand of your majesty on high, and he will come to render to each according to his works. As memorials of his saving passion, he has left us these gifts which we have set forth before you according to his commands. For when he was about to go forth to his holy, voluntary, ever-memorable, and life-giving death, on the night on which he was delivered up for the life of the world, he took bread in his holy and pure hands, and presenting it to you, God and Father, and offering thanks, blessing, sanctifying, and breaking it. He gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you, for the forgiveness of sins. Lavete, fagete, tuto mo istinto soma, toi perimon clomenon is afasina martion. Likewise, he took the cup of the fruit of vine, and having mingled it, offering thanks, blessing, and sanctifying it. He gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Drink of this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Edoketis agis aftu matites que apostolis ipon, pietex aftu pandes, tuto estinto emamoto tis kenis diatikis, toi perimon que polon echinomenon, is afesina martion. Do this in remembrance of me, for as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim my death and you confess my resurrection. Therefore, Master, we also remembering his saving passion and life-giving cross, his three-day burial and resurrection from the dead, his ascension into heaven and enthronement at your right hand, God and Father, and his glorious and awesome and second coming. O God, be gracious unto me, the sinner, and have mercy upon me. We offer to you these gifts from your own gifts in all and for all. Tasa ecton son, si hi prosfero men, kata panda ke dia panda. Therefore, most holy Master, we also, your sinful and unworthy servants, whom you have made worthy to serve at your holy altar, not because of our own righteousness, for we have not done anything good upon the earth, but because of your mercy and compassion, which you have so richly poured upon us, we dare to approach your holy altar and to bring forth the symbols of the holy body and blood of your Christ. We pray to you and call upon you, O Holy of Holies, that by the favor of your goodness, your Holy Spirit may come upon us and upon the gifts here presented to bless, sanctify, and make this bread to be the precious body of our Lord and God and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. And this cup to be the precious blood of our Lord and God and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Shed for the life and salvation of the world. Amen. 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 And unite us all to one another who become partakers of the one bread and the cup 
in the communion of the one Holy Spirit, grant that none of us may partake of the holy body and blood of your Christ to judgment or condemnation, but that we may find mercy and grace with all the saints who through the angels have pleased you, forefathers, fathers, patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, teachers, and every righteous prayer made perfect in faith. For St. John the Prophet, for the Baptist, for the Father, the glorious and most faithful apostles, and give us some John and some great and ones. So remember, as we can write down the saints and the subjugation of our bills, remember also those who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection to life. Based on Sophia Chagal, who is Thomas, and who is Daniel, and Thomas, and who is the best of the Savior, 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 Εξαιρετός της Παναγίας Αχράντου υπερευλογημένης εν δόξον δεσποίνης ημών Θεοτόκου και αι Παρθένου Μαρίας. Holy House to the end of the ages. Remember, Lord, those who have brought you these gifts and for whom and through whom and the intentions for which they were offered. Remember, Lord, those who bear fruit and do good works in your holy churches and those who remember the poor. Reward them with your rich and heavenly gifts. Grant them in return for earthly things, heavenly gifts, or temporal, eternal, for corruptible, incorruptible. Remember, Lord, those who are in the deserts, on mountains and cabins, in the chambers of the earth. Remember, Lord, those living in chastity and godliness and asceticism and holiness of life. Remember, Lord, this country and all those in civil authority whom you have allowed to govern on earth. Grant them profound and lasting peace. Speak to their hearts good things concerning your church and all your people that through the faithful conduct of their duties we may live peaceful and train lives in piety and holiness. Sustain the good in their goodness. Make the wicked good through your goodness. Remember, Lord, the people who presented and those who are absent with good cause. Have mercy on them and on us according to the multitude of your mercy. Fill their treasuries with every good thing. Preserve their marriages in peace and harmony. Nurture the infants. Instruct the youth. Strengthen the aged. Give courage to the faint-hearted. Reunite those separated. Bring back those in error and unite them to your holy Catholic and Apostolic Church. Free those who are held captive by unclean spirits. Sail with those who sail. Travel with those who travel. Defend the widows. Protect the orphans. Liberate the captives. Heal the sick. Remember, Lord, those who are in mines and exile and harsh labors, and those in every kind of affliction, necessity, or distress, those who entreat your loving kindness, those who love us and those who hate us, those who have asked us unworthy as we are to pray for them. Remember, Lord our God, all your people, and pour out your merch mercy upon them, granting them their petitions for salvation. Remember, Lord, all those whom we have not remembered through ignorance, forgetfulness, or because of their multitude, since you know the name and age of each, even from their mother's womb. For you, Lord, are the helper of the helpless, the hope of the hopeless, the savior of the afflicted, the haven of the voyager, and the physician of the sick. Be all things to all, you who know each person, his requests, his household, and his need. Deliver this community and city, O Lord, and every city and town from famine, plague, earthquake, flood, fire, sword, invasion of foreign enemies, and civil war. Above all, remember, O Lord, our Archbishop Yerasimus, grant that he may serve your holy churches in peace, keep him safe, honorable, and healthy for many years, rightly teaching the word of your truth. Remember also, Lord, those whom each of us calls to mind, and all your people. And all your people. Remember, Lord, all Orthodox bishops who rightly teach the word of your truth. Remember, Lord, my unworthiness according to the multitude of your mercies. Forgive my every transgression, both voluntary and involuntary. Do not take the grace of your Holy Spirit from these gifts presented because of my sins. Remember, Lord, the presbyters, the diaconate in Christ, and every order of the clergy, and do not confound any of us who stand about your holy altar. 
Visit us with your goodness, Lord. Manifest yourself to us through your rich compassion. Grant us seasonable weather and fruitful seasons. Send gentle showers upon the earth so that it may bear fruit. Bless the crown of the year of your goodness. Prevent schisms in the church. Pacify the raging of the heathen. Quickly stop the uprising of heresies by the power of your Holy Spirit. Receive us all into your kingdom and declare us to be sons and daughters of the light and of the day. Grant us your peace and love, Lord our God, for you have given all things to us. And grant that with one voice and one heart we may glorify and praise your most honored and majestic name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. The mercy of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ be with you all. And with your spirit. Having remembered all the saints, let us again in peace pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the precious gifts offered and consecrated, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That our loving God who has received them at his holy, heavenly, and spiritual altar as an offering of spiritual fragrance, may in return send upon us divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit, let us pray. Lord, have mercy. Having prayed for the unity of the faith and for the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. O God, the God who saves you, teach us justly to thank you for the good things which you have done and still do for us. You are our God who has accepted these gifts. Cleanse us from every defilement of flesh and spirit and teach us how to live in holiness by your fear so that receiving the portion of your holy gifts with a clear conscience, we may be united with the holy body and blood of your Christ. Having received them worthily, may we have Christ dwelling in our hearts and may we become the temple of your Holy Spirit. Yes, our God, let none of us be guilty before these, your awesome and heavenly mysteries, nor become infirm in body and soul by partaking of them unworthily. But enable us even up to our last breath to receive a portion of your holy gifts worthily as provisions for eternal life and as an acceptable defense at the awesome judgment seat of your Christ, so that we also, together with all the saints who through the ages have pleased you, may become partakers of your eternal good things which you, Lord, have prepared for those who love you. And make us worthy, Master, with confidence and without fear of condemnation, to dare call you the heavenly God, Father, and to say... Our Father, who Lord, art in heaven, Father, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Patrimon, o enis uranis, ayas dito tonamasu, el petu i vasiliasu, inisitut alimasu, hos nuranor ke epidisis, tonatrimon de biusion, dosim in simeron, ke apisimint a plima taimon, os ke emis a firmetis veletimon, Oti su estini vasilia ke dinamis ke doxa, tu patros ke tu iu ke tu agio pnevmatos, nin ki ai ke istu se onas ton eonon. Amin. Irini pasi. Tas ke pelasimon to kiri o klinomen. Lord, Master, the Father of mercies and God of every consolation, bless, sanctify, guard, fortify, and strengthen those who bow their heads to you. Distance them from every evil deed, lead them to every good work, and make them worthy to partake without condemnation of these your most pure and life-giving mysteries for the forgiveness of sins and for the communion of the Holy Spirit. By the grace, mercy, and love for us of your only begotten Son with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of the ages. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, our God, hear us from your holy dwelling place and from the glorious throne of your kingdom. You are enthroned on high with the Father and are also invisibly present among us. Come and sanctify us and let your pure body and precious blood be given to us by your mighty hand and through us to all your people. 
O God, be gracious to me, the sinner, and have mercy upon me. O God, be gracious unto me, the sinner, and have mercy upon me. O Theosilas, de dime da martelon que le suomen. I lift you up, my King and my God. Let us be attentive, pros homen. The holy gifts are for the holy. Taragiati sagis. One is holy, one is Lord Jesus Christ. To the glory of God the Father. Amen. I believe, O Lord, and I confess that you are truly the Christ, the Son of the living God, who did come into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the first. I also believe that this is your sacred body, and this your precious blood. Therefore I pray to you, have mercy upon me, Blessed and forgive my transgressions, voluntary and involuntary, in word and deed, both known and unknown. And make me worthy to partake of your sacred mysteries for the remission of sins and life eternal. Amen. Behold, I approach for Holy Communion. O Creator, burn me not as I partake. For you are fire which burns the unworthy. Wherefore do you cleanse me from every stain? Receive me today, O Son of God, as a partaker of your mystical feast. For I will not speak of the mystery to your enemies. I will not kiss you as to Judas. But like the thief will I confess, Lord, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Tremble, O mortal, beholding the divine blood, for it is as a lighted coal burning the unworthy. It is God's body and deifies and nourishes me. It deifies my soul and wondrously nourishes my mind. You have smitten me with yearning, O Christ, and with your divine love have you changed me. But do you burn away with spiritual fire my sins and make me worthy to be filled with the joy of you? That rejoicing in your goodness, I may magnify your two presences. My brothers and sisters, into the in glorious Christ, company of your saints, and most how shall priest. I, the unworthy, enter? For should I also dare to enter the festal chamber, my robe betrays me. For it is not a festal garment, and I shall be bound and cast out by the angels. Cleanse my soul, O Lord, from pollution, and by your compassion save me. O merciful Master, Lord Jesus Christ, my God. Let not these holy gifts be to me for judgment through my unworthiness, but rather for the purification and sanctification of my soul and body, and as an earnest of the life and kingdom to come. For it is good for me to cleave to God and to place in the Lord my hope of salvation. Receive me today, O Son of God, as a partaker of your mystical feast. For I will not speak of the mystery to your enemies. I will not kiss you as did Judas. But like the thief will I confess, Lord, remember me when you come into your kingdom.
Amen, amen, amen. <coughs> Blessed is he that comes in the name of the Lord. God is the Lord and has revealed himself to us. The servant of God receives the body and blood of Christ for the forgiveness of his sins and then for the rest of the
the servant of The servant of God Maximus receives the body and blood of Christ with the forgiveness of his sins and life everlasting. Amen. The Belavani Idule to do Emilia Soma Kama Christu, his office in a martyrion, Kizuin, Yuninu. The Belavani Odulus to the Nectarius, Soma Kama Christu, his office in a martyrion, Kizuin, Yuninu. The Belavani Odulus to Mass, Soma Kama Christu, his office in a martyrion, Kizuin, Yuninu. Save, O God, your people, and bless your inheritance. So son o theo son la onsu, kev logi son ting lironomi ansu. We have seen the true light, we have received the heavenly spirit. We have found the true faith, worshipping the undivided trinity. Who has said us? Evil men for poison. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens, let your glory come to the earth. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens, let your glory come to the earth. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens, let your glory come to the earth. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens, let your glory come to the earth. Always, now, and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let our mouths be filled with your praise, O Lord, that we may sing of your glory. For you have made us worthy to partake of your holy, divine, immortal, and life-giving mysteries. Keep us in your holiness that all the day we may meditate upon your righteousness. 
Let us be attentive, having partaken of the divine, holy, immortal, heavenly, life-giving, and awesome mysteries of Christ. Let us worthily give thanks to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Having prayed for a perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless day, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. Thank you, o Lord. We thank you, Lord our God, for the communion of your holy, most pure, immortal, and heavenly mysteries, which you have granted for us to the benefit, sanctification, and healing of our souls and bodies. Grant, Master of all, that the communion of the holy body and blood of your Christ may become for us faith unashamed, love unfeigned, fullness of wisdom, healing of soul and body, repelling of every hostile adversary, observance of your commandments, and an acceptable defense at the dread judgment seat of your Christ. For you are our sanctification, and to you we ascribe glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us depart in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Lord, bless those who praise you, and sanctify those who trust in you. Save your people, and bless your inheritance. Protect the whole body of your church, sanctify those who love the beauty of your house. Glorify them in return by your divine power, and do not forsake us who hope in you. Grant peace to your world, to your churches, to the clergy, to those in public service, to the armed forces, and to all your people. For every good and perfect gift is from above, coming from you, the Father of lights. To you we give glory, thanksgiving, and worship. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Christ, Blessed be the name of the Lord, henceforth and forevermore. Blessed be the name of the Lord, henceforth and forevermore. This morning we will be conducting the 40-day memorial service for the repose of the soul of the departed servant of God, Thomas Morton. Metap mematon di keon tetelio menon, tim sikin tu dulusu sotera napason, filaton aptini si makarian zuin ti parasi filantropel. In your place of rest, O Lord, where all your saints repose, give rest also to the soul of your servant, for you alone are immortal. Eblogito sikiri e didakson meta di keon. Mata su tonagi ono koro se prepigi tizo wis ke tira paradisu ebro kagoti no donde antis metanias to apola los provato nego i mi ane kalese mesotir ke so son me. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Let us devoutly praise the threefold radiance of the one God as we sing. Holy are you, the Father, without beginning, the co-eternal Son and the Divine Spirit. Illumine us who worship you in faith and deliver us from the eternal fire. Both now and ever, into the ages of ages, amen. Rejoice, gracious lady, who gave birth to God in the flesh for the salvation of all. 
and through whom the human race has found salvation. Through you, pure and blessed Theotokos, may we find paradise. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 doxa sio theos. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Grant rest, O Christ, to the soul of your servant, where there is neither pain nor sorrow, nor sighing, but life and everlasting. Among the spirits of the righteous perfected in faith, give rest, O Savior, to the soul of your servant. Bestow upon it the blessed life which is from you, O loving one. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. You are our God who descended into Hades and loosened the brains of those who were held captive. Grant press also, save your to the soul of your servant. Imoni agnike akrandos parzenos, iteon aprasos kisasam. Preserve iper tu sotine, tasti kais ton dulon su. Have mercy upon us, O God, according to your great love. We pray to you, hear us, and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the repose of the departed servant of God, Thomas, who has fallen asleep, and for the forgiveness of all his sins, both voluntary and involuntary. <laughs> May the Lord God place his soul where the righteous repose. Let us ask of the mercies of God, the kingdom of heaven, and for the forgiveness of his sins from Christ our mortal King and God. Let us pray to the Lord. O God of spirits and of all flesh, you have trampled down death and have abolished the power of the devil, giving life to your world. Give rest to the soul of your departed servant Thomas in a place of light, in a place of repose, in a place of refreshment, where there is no pain, sorrow, and suffering. As a good and loving God, forgive every sin he committed in thought, word, or deed. For there is no one who lives and is sinless. You alone are without sin. Your righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and your word is truth. truth. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Lord, you are the resurrection of life, and the repose of your departed servant Thomas. O Christ our God, and to you we ascribe glory. Together, dear eternal Father, to a holy good life, giving spirit, now and forever and unto the age. May your memory be eternal, our beloved brother, worthy of blessedness and everlasting memory. It's
to the Lord. Lord have mercy. The blessing of the Lord and His mercy come upon you through His divine grace and love for mankind, always, now and forever, into the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to you, Christ our God, and our hope. Glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and into the ages of ages. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Father, bless. May he who rose from the dead, Christ, our true God, through the intercessions of his most pure and holy mother, through the power of the precious and life-giving cross, through the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, at the supplication of the honorable glorious prophet and foreigner and Baptist John, of the holy glorious and all praise for the apostles, of the holy glorious and triumphant martyrs, of our holy and God-bearing fathers, of St. Catherine, the great martyr patroness and protectress of this holy church, of the holy martyrs and, mercenar and mercenaries, Kiros and John, and of St. Gregory Palamas of Thessaloniki, whose memory we celebrate to this, this day on the second Sunday of Great and Holy Lent, and of all the saints. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen. May the Holy Trinity protect you and bless you always, now and forever. Amen. Please be seated. We'd like to welcome our visitors today, Jaron Cohen, uh, Joe uh, Potlor, and Matthew and Kiana uh, Sullivan. Uh, we're, it's wonderful to have you here. I don't know if this is your first time here or not, um, but uh, we're glad that you joined us today. And please join us for some refreshments uh, next door in our community center um, after we finish the announcements here. You know we have a, a secondary route to get to the community center. So I'm wondering how many will walk down the front in the rain. If you're an Oregonian, you, you're going to go in the rain because you just like it. You're part duck now. But the alternate route is it's a covered patio all the way down here. So I'm just saying, don't judge people, one another. I'm just saying there's an alternate route if you don't want to get wet. Uh, this, uh, this evening at 6 p.m., the Pan-Orthodox Vesper service will be hosted by St. John the Baptist Romanian Orthodox Church in Glendale. Tomorrow, Monday, April 1st, a Great Compline, followed by a Reflection, will begin at 6 p.m. Wednesday, April 3rd, Pre-Sanctified Liturgy again at 6 p.m. Then on Friday, April 5th, Pre-Sanctified Liturgy, there is a change in time from 8 a.m. to 7 a.m., and then the third salutation service is at 6 p.m. So all of our evening services are at 6 p.m. Uh, Great Vespers again on Saturday, of course, 6 p.m. The foreign language sign-up sheet is still in the back. I think we have maybe four or five people. Uh, but please, uh, if you know a foreign language and you could read the gospel passage and we can find it in that language, then uh, please sign up. And then I thought this week, I said, maybe somebody here has always wanted to learn and speak a certain foreign language. Well, this is your time to learn just enough to be able to read the gospel. So let's see how, how uh, courageous you are to do something like that. Um, thank you to everyone who's filled out their stewardship cards and handed them in to this point. Uh, we have a, a good many of them. If you have not yet uh, filled out your stewardship card for 2024, please do that. 2023 doesn't automatically go over until the next year. You have to uh, fill out a new one, and those are in the back. Also, I, I've talked to, ha gosh, half a dozen people this week, and uh, I've made reference to our, uh, our email that goes out every Tuesday, 
with all the news and events and services and updates and so forth, but also the, uh, pres the PC president's reflection, uh, pastoral reflection, or any other um, message we got to get out to you because something has changed. And I found a lot of people still aren't on our email system. So if, if you're not getting that email every Tuesday and other ones, please leave your, your first and last name and your email address so you can get all that information. Uh, it's going to be very important. Uh, the Tipica service we've done now for the second week in a row, and I think I mentioned last week that prayer is work. Prayer is not passivity or entertainment. But when we pray, we have to really concentrate and try to put our mind into what we're reading, what we're seeing before us. Um, this is challenging even for me, but to try to make every, every word I say, every word that I intone, I'm trying to focus on every single one, um, not, not just for, for my sake and my relationship and what I'm saying to my Lord, but for your sake, that it becomes impactful. But your job too is to, is to follow along and make those words your words. And the Tipica service, those two Psalms and the Beatitudes, they're beautiful. I mean, if you just read them quietly or slowly, you know, at home, they're very, very prayerful. It's acknowledging all that God has done for us, all He continues to do for us. We're, we're offering Him honor and worship and, and praising His name for all of His benevolence and all of these things. If our mind wanders, Church is going to be boring, it's going to take a long time. So if you're bored, and it's taking a long time, you're not praying. I hate to break it to you, but you're not. <laughs> so try to enter in just for this period of time. You have, you have tons of hours between now and, and next Sunday, so just a little bit. Um, also, our pre-sanctified liturgy books uh, are at the printer's. Um, they're going to be very, very beautifully done. And, and so we want to be able to, uh, to pick those up this coming week. And I want to ask if all of you would consider contributing something towards the, to offset the cost of those. We're getting 75 copies. Originally I wanted to get 50, but we have more than 50 on Wednesday pre-sanctified liturgy already. So we're going to get 75 copies. And then five copies for the clergy, because my book, my, the clergy book has a bunch of what they call rubrics. You know, where I go, what I stand, when I sense, and if there's a deacon, what I exchange in conversation with him, and all these sort of things. Um, the total cost is around $900, and they will be very high quality. Um, so if you'd like to help, I know there's a basket in the narthex, and uh, we'd like to get that covered and, and taken care of as soon as possible. And I think we will probably, hopefully, be able to get them for this coming Wednesday's pre-sanctified liturgy. And I want to thank uh, Christine Restivov, who did all the layout and the formatting. Um, I want to thank uh, other people. I, if I start naming names, I know I'm going to forget people, but there was a handful of people who went through that text several drafts. I mean several drafts. And then we created a working liturgy book, pre by liturgy book, and I had it in the altar and some people had it out here, and even still we found more things. Um, I know personally, and I'm sure Christine even more, over the last probably nine months, I've put in, no doubt, 150 hours just in reading through the text and changing them and all of these things. So we've put a lot of time and effort so that these books will be very beautiful and uh, for you to follow along. Uh, so please, if you, if you have uh, that within your heart, please contribute to that so we can go ahead and get those. Um, I think that's everything. Thank you for your patience. I love all of you. <laughs> this is a beautiful, a beautiful church and I'm, I'm very blessed to